Hi guys, Sean here from DigiDirect. Now today we're going to be talking about camera bags and in particular we're going to be discussing something that we get asked in store all the time by customers and that's camera bags that don't look like camera bags. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for this. One is just straight up style. Let's be honest, most camera bags uh, and camera holsters and straps and so on, they're not necessarily the most stylish accessories, not always at least. Uh, the other reason though is theft avoidance. So if you're walking around in a bag that is immediately recognizable as being a camera bag, people know that there's probably a couple thousand dollars worth of gear inside and you may be a higher target for theft. So for these reasons, we're gonna be discussing Ona bags today. So Ona is a brand that take, basically takes that theme of not looking like camera bags and puts it across their entire range. Basically every Ona bag is designed to not look like a camera bag. Now Ona certainly isn't the only bag manufacturer that does this or has that focus on some of their bags at least. Um, but they are a very popular one. So I thought I would run through some of the models in Ona's lineup. This isn't gonna be a very technical review video like I often do. Instead, I'm gonna give you a rundown, give you a feel for what's out there. So if you're in the market for a camera bag like this, or maybe you will be in the future, you have an idea of the options out there and you can keep your eyes open uh, for going forward. So Ona is an American brand. They're based out of Brooklyn, New York. They got quite a wide array of products, but the unifying factor here, as I've already mentioned, is that on the outside, they could be any type of bag, but once you open them up on the inside, we see all those specific pockets and dividers and padding that we would associate with a camera bag to protect your cameras and lenses. Now, I'm gonna be discussing the general characteristics of the brand uh, across the board, whereas on the screen at the same time, we'll be looking at some of the particular models so you can get a feel as to what they look like, what's inside of them, and so on. As we go through that, uh, a couple things that you'll notice, typically that uh, all of these models tend to have a heavy emphasis on A, style, and B, build quality. Starting with style, uh, we can see these are all pretty classy looking bags. Generally, they have a bit of that kind of retro feel to them. There's lots of nice buckles, metal buckles, nice straps, and so on. Most of the models do work as unisex options, but there are a couple that are like this handbag one, the Chelsea, which is specifically meant for, you know, aimed at uh, women. Uh, many of them do fall into the kind of messenger style category of bags of various different sizes. So on the small end, we've got a bag like the, uh, the Bond Street or the Bowery here, which will you know, hold a smaller mirrorless camera kit or maybe a smaller DSLR with maybe a spare lens or so, but uh, not a lot of room. They're meant to be more compact. And as we move up here, we'll see some of the larger options like the Brixton or the Union Street are gonna have a lot more space for carrying a larger kit. We're gonna to start to see the introduction of some uh, additional kind of slide-in pockets for like a, a, an iPad or even a laptop in some of the bigger models. Every bag also has these little uh, Velcro dividers in here so you can rearrange it as you see fit to store, you know, store it the way that you need to store your gear. Now most of the models come in not only a variety of colors but also uh, a couple different types of material often. Typically you'll have your standard model which will have a couple different colors and will often be some kind of canvas type material but you can usually also get a leather version. And the leather versions sometimes, again, come in a couple different tones like antique cognac or dark truffle are some of their more popular options. Um, but the leather one, again, as the name implies, is a fully leather uh, version of that bag. So a really, really high quality build on this, really beautiful look and feel to it. These are obviously gonna cost you more than the standard version is though as well. Now the second point about Ona is that build quality, and this is gonna apply whether you get the, the more expensive leather version or the standard canvas, they all have exceptionally high quality to them. The, the material is thick and, and juicy, it's a little bit heavy, so these bags are not super, super lightweight because that material is thicker, but the stitching is really nice, those buckles, again, metal buckles, beautiful straps, really, really high build quality on, these, on the uh, bags here. They're definitely made to last for quite a few years, something that you're not gonna get, you know, throw out in, in a year or two, you'll definitely be able to keep it for quite a while. And it's indeed a good thing that they are built to last so long because that somewhat compensates for the one downside of the Ona camera bags and that's their cost. These are obviously premium luxury bags. They're going to cost more than a standard bag. So I'll, I'll say that if you don't care too much about the style or the look of your bag, you just want something that gets the job done, has good utility and is cheap, Ona bags are not for you, so don't even worry about them in that case. But if you do, uh, you know, the style is important to you, that build quality is important. I will say that while Ona bags are more expensive than a standard bag, they're not overly priced for the build quality that you get. You're not paying higher just for their name, really, which some, you know, kind of luxury manufacturers sometimes do. You're paying higher for that build quality, but you do get your money's worth out of that build quality, certainly. So well, that's a quick look at some of the more popular models in the Ona bag lineup. They certainly have more than just what we've looked at here. 
Um, but the company only started in 2010, so they've been doing quite well for themselves so far. We've been stocking their bags on all of our stores for the last couple of years. They've been very popular with customers, which is why I wanted to just make this quick video just to give you a feel of the options out there in case this is a market that appeals to you. If it is something of interest to you, as I said, we do have them in all of our stores, so feel free to come in and check them out. I would recommend bring your camera gear with you. That way you can put your gear into the bag, see which size is right for you. It's a lot better than trying to estimate and guess how much gear will fit into which bag. We've got stores in the Sydney CBD, Bondi Junction, Miranda, Chatswood, the Brisbane and Melbourne CBDs, and Cannington, Western Australia. You can also order any bag from the Ono lineup on our website at www.digidirect.com.au. Thanks, guys. Take care.